Hi there, YouTube. This is Dominic, the CX guy. Welcome to another video. Today's topic is going to be skill-based routing in Zendesk Chat. For those of you who don't know me or you're here for the first time, my name is Dominic. I'm a Zendesk consultant. I've been one for the past eight plus years. I've been a Zendesk partner for the past two and a half years. I have also worked at Zendesk and I'm here to share some of that knowledge. Now, before we begin, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please leave a comment if you want to see some special content, as I would love to uh, help you with videos like it, such as this. Uh, today's topic is, has been requested by someone in the community, so I'm addressing this video because I like creating these a lot more interactive and uh, spontaneous. Now, skill-based routing in Zendesk chat. So before we begin, I'd like you to I'd like to discuss take a take a little bit of time to understand the differences between Zendesk chat and Zendesk messaging, right? Because these are two different things, and uh, skill-based routing can differ for these uh, quite a bit. So first off, Zendesk chat is a functionality that Zendesk has um, is not native to Zendesk. It has, it's a startup which has been called Zopim. It was called Zopim in the past. Then Zendesk bought this service from them, I think six, seven years ago for about 30 million euros. That's not important. The fact, to, the fact of the matter remains, they bought the service and they integrated it into their service. So if you are using Zendesk chat, you might know that it, the interface is uh, in Zendesk look and feel, but it's not quite there. It's not exactly Zendesk support. You you notice slight, slight differences to it. And the fact that you have to navigate to another tab, probably this gives you a bit of insight into that, uh, into this fact. Now, Zendesk has been um, working hard and is still working on this because it's, um, it, is a, it is in the roadmap and it is being developed with Zendesk messaging. So Zendesk messaging is essentially bringing over the functionality of chat into Zendesk support, right? So making it making it uh, natively part of the system, making, making it natively part of Zendesk support. So it has the same look and feel. So it has the same uh, place that is being managed. So Zendesk messaging is this new, it's the future, it's the new approach and uh, it's being uh, worked on consistently and it will it is the future and it will be completely moved into Zendesk support, right? So Zendesk messaging will take over Zendesk chat eventually. I am not one to tell you when, but it will eventually happen. So it is, uh, it is important to note that skill-based routing is different from each one of these, right? Because uh, Zendesk chat has more limited functionality, has limited functionality, whereas Zendesk messaging has more functionality for skill-based routing, for example, and a bunch of other business rules that you can create for routing and not just that. Um, but it has a little bit more limited uh, chat functionality. So until Zendesk brings this functionality into one place, you have to yeah get used to these minor changes or minor minor differences but that's actually the purpose of this video and it will i'm sure it will uh, be of help to you okay so uh what i wanted to clarify on is um uh, zendesk chat skill based routing and this is uh, following a few steps being a little bit more uh, limited, I will walk you through some of the scenarios that Zendesk recommends, and I will also give you an insight into how you can be get how you can get creative with uh, with Zendesk chat skill based routing. So let's talk about skill based routing and this what this means. This is an advanced way for you to create routing, and this is also probably as time progresses, this will be the future as well. I think will become more automatic in this sense. So it's a way for you to streamline your tickets and match them with the skills of your agents, right? So tickets come in with uh, certain types of conditions or certain types of, uh, of, uh, of markups that will coincide with the skills of that agent. It is very important to know that um, skill-based routing in chat, in Zendesk chat, as Zendesk recommends it, is has to be exact mix and match, right? So if an agent, for example, has a skill A and B, and a ticket comes in with a skill A, it will not end up with this agent. It has to match, it has to have 
uh, skill A and B in order to match up with the agent with the skills A and B, okay? So you have to be mindful of this and uh, make sure that you do things, you think about things well and you plan them in advance and you speak to your team in order to have the best output, right? You don't want to rush into anything. You want to do everything methodical, maybe test it with one of your departments and see how that works. And then you can expand to other teams. The way that Zendesk usually recommends this is to start out, for example, with uh, language skills, right? So your support teams might be in England, in Germany, Dach area, let's say, so German skills, uh, Spanish skills, Italian skills, uh, French skills, etc. Right? So you you can start out easy. You can start off small, and this is just an example. Which uh, it, it, skills are effective? of the fact that a matter, right? So you want to be able to streamline your processes with skills and assign them to the correct agents to deal with those tickets, right? Okay, so <laughs> um, now I am going to walk you through, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you how that will look like inside Zendesk. Let, give me a moment so I can log into my test environment and I can go ahead and walk you through a little bit on how this works. Okay, so in Zendesk chat, although it's a little bit limited and I uh, told you you can start up with uh, this basic language skills, I'm going to show you a creative way on how to activate and how to use advanced skills or more advanced skills. I will also guide you through some of the limitations on uh, um, limitations of using skill-based routing. And most of it is due to the fact that you need to tie the skills to an, uh, a Zendesk functionality that exists. Why? It's because Zendesk skill-based routing in chat, so chat skill-based routing works with tags. This is the limitation, the number one limitation. So you have to add a tag to a ticket and the agent has to have that tag in order to be able to deal with that ticket. So a ticket has to have a tag A and the agent has to have the tag A in order for this to be a happy marriage and the agents to, to see uh, the tickets ending up in their, in their queue. So uh, first step that you have to do, you have to enable skill-based routing, then you have to um, uh, understand how the skill-based routing works, which I, um, I have mentioned, right? I have mentioned to you um, in my previous thoughts. You have to create those skills, and then you have to assign the agents to their skills, and then add skill tags to visitors. Okay, so now let me share my screen. And I will walk you through this. So share screen. All right, you should see my test account. I am going to, okay, and here we go. So let's open send us chat. Let's go in here. So we go to settings, we go to routing. And now we have to first, it is enabled, but yes, you have to enable your skill-based routing first. Please make sure to add a maximum wait time. So if a chat request comes in and it is has the tag A, for example, and it coincides with the agent A, you need to make sure that the maximum wait time is, let's say, 30 seconds in this case, which is the default. I don't recommend going over one minute for your uh, chat requesters to go over that. So if a ticket is not being handled directly by this agent and has the, co the correct skill, the ticket will be... Uh, assigned to someone else so they can deal with it, right? You, even though the ticket will not end up in the perfect inbox, it in the perfect queue, at least somebody will be there to pick it up and get back to the customer. Nothing is more stressful for, for your customers than to end up in a, in a queue and nobody handles them. They get pissed off and chat is meant to be something quick and uh, real time. It, you can't just play around with people's emotions. So make this, uh, set this up accordingly. I don't recommend going over a minute, okay? So if the ticket is not being picked up by the uh, respected agent with, it, with their skill, go to, uh, it should be assigned to someone else. Okay, now you have to go in and create your skills. Okay, save this. Now I have here some language skills. I have Deutsch, English, and French. You can add another skill, let's say Spanish. For Spanish agents, create. Okay, 
cool. Now you have to go in and you have to assign these. Um, you have created your skill. You have to assign them to your agents. So you have to go to your team and assign it to whoever you think is the best, right? So uh, let's see, where do we have our team? So this is me. I don't want to, I can assign some skills to myself, right? I can assign these two, for example, save them. And now I am going to go to the agents and assign some skills to them. Let's go to, for example, Michael and assign the skill Deutsch. Save. Okay, good. So those, these have been assigned now. Skills have been assigned. Now you have to add skill tags to your visitors. So this is how it works. This is how the limitation, unfortunately, this is how it works, skill-based. You have to add a tag to your visitors, right? So you have to go to your trigger and say, if somebody requests a chat and they are from the DE part of your website, means it means Deutsch, it means German. So assign this tag Deutsch. And then when the agent is going to be online that has Deutsch skill, Michael, that I've just uh, assigned, that I've just assigned the skill Deutsch and the ticket comes in, with Deutsch, it will go directly to Michael for 30 seconds, as we have right now. And after, and if Michael doesn't pick it up, then it's going to be assigned to someone else who is available. Okay, so now we have to go to our business rules and we have to go to triggers and we have to create a trigger and assign this specific skill, assign this specific tag with the German tag, so we can match it with the uh, German speaking agent. Uh, assign German tag, uh, German tag to visitor. I'm going to walk you through what this means. So channel is not messaging, channel is chat because we're just focusing on chat now. When visitor requests a chat, yes, check all of these conditions are true. So select a condition and I'm going to say country code, visitor country code equals uh, DE. So this means that uh, country code is Deutschland. Select an option and I'm going to say add a tag, Deutsch. Make sure that it's written correctly and doesn't have uppercase or lowercase. So it has to have lowercase and you have to make sure that you write exactly the tag that is assigned as a skill to the agent. Create the trigger. Oh, didn't add a description. Um, just put the same thing, create the trigger. Okay, so this has been a way for you to create uh, let me stop my screen sharing. This has been a way for you to assign skills for languages. Now, I'm going to share a way to get creative and a limitation, another, well, not another, but a limitation of that. So a creative way to do this is because you don't just have language skills, right? You can have, um, for example, tier support, right? You have tier one, tier two, tier three, management, etc. right? So not all your agents have the same skills, not your, all your agents have the same experience. In general, first tier of tickets usually pass the first tier, and this is the less experienced agent that can have the have the say the lower level of skills, but they can help basic uh, kinds of uh, queries and requests. And if they don't necessarily know how to handle things, they so they escalate it to tier two, who has more experience. Maybe they're more technical. Maybe they're I don't know compliance. And if they those don't necessarily can't help either, they escalate to tier three or management and management deal with the more VIP, the more sensitive types of tickets. And maybe those are compliance tickets or I don't know, VIP clients or really pissed off customers, which it sometimes happens. People do get pissed off. They do have bad days, it's normal. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you the limitations of what you can do and how you can use in this chat. And that's the thing which I am happy about when this is going to be fully integrated into new Zendesk, into mess Zendesk messaging. So this will be part of Zendesk functionality and skill-based routing in there is much more powerful because it has a lot more um, 
a lot more leverage because it uses a, can use a lot more functionality. But yeah, if you use in this chat, this is what you have to deal with for now. Share my screen again. Here we go. You should see it again. Uh, okay, so uh, now I have another trigger. I change it for chat. So this is what I can use as defaults and as functionality in order to add tags, right? So what I need to do, I always need to have to be able to add a tag to mix and match a ticket's uh, a ticket's skill or a ticket's let's say uh, coordinations or a ticket's specifics with a skill and match it with a skill in Zenas for the agent. So hours of the day, maybe I have, for example, uh, a night shift and a day shift. And if it's the hours of the day, it's between, I don't know, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. It's the night shift. And then you get agent skills, which is night shift. <laughs> that doesn't work. Anyway, day of the week, still on the site, still on the page. No, is it IP, host name, city, maybe. You have a special team that is in a special city or a region, country code. We've already covered it because it can have, it's related to language. Uh, visitor previous chats, if they have more than 10, I don't know, maybe they're a VIP and then you send them directly to VIP uh, tier three. I don't know. Um, this one I like and I can... I can, this is how I, for example, my example, visitor page URL. So when you install your chats widget and you install it on your cart page or your billing page or your, I don't know, technical page, uh, uh, that's not a page, but when you have the chat, for example, installed on your cart page, you can go in here and say visitor page URL equals slash cart. Okay, this means that it's, definitely this user is interested in buying, has a problem with buying, and I should assign them directly to uh, add a tag and assign them to the agents that have the um, uh, skill order or billing, or I don't know. This is the, um, let's say, but this is a way for you to understand how you can creatively use this. If a ticket, if a, if a requester, chat requester is on a specific page of your website, like cart, for example, it means that they're buying. It means that they should be assigned to someone who handles order tickets or billing tickets or finance tickets. I don't know, but this is all down to your specific use case and your business. So yeah, uh, order, but this can also be, I don't know, for example, my page uh, and, and my page and go we need to go here i have this page which for example in in services if for example i could put because i do have my but this is messaging it's not chat this is as then as messaging uh, but for example i can put slash services and i know that they are looking for zenda services people are looking for zenda services and maybe that's you who is actually watching this video right so i can put this in here and say if they are on services uh then add a tag services and this would mean that i assign it to the agent with the skill services right um yeah so this has been a video a short video about how to use zenda skill based routing in chat I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Uh, you, in the description of this of this video, you will also find uh, some, an ebook on how to optimize your Zendesk in eight steps. Oh my God, eight steps! Who has time, right? <laughs> well, if you want to achieve greatness and you want if you want to be in the top five percent of companies offering amazing customer service, uh, then you have to do the do your diligence and take the time to look to look through these and read a lot this is a job in itself that's why i am here and i can i'm happy to help you and as consultant eight people working with me so we can help you with your zenesk implementation as well i'll see you soon bye <laughs>